Our foreign editor, Philip Tell, uh, watched all of Vladimir Putin's speech and he joins me now here in the studio. Philip, your thoughts then on his comments about gas flows to Europe and on that potential oil cap as well? Well, we all know that Vladimir Putin has gas and oil to sell and he is not pleased about the fact that Europe is trying to find alternative sources of energy. Uh, this was a call... Basically, also a threat to, to the Europeans saying if you put a price cap on the imports of uh, Russian fuel, uh, Russian oil, then we will not sell to the countries that introduce that price cap. And on top of that, it's going to cause misery for billions of people who are going to see their energy prices go shooting up over the winter, uh, describing it as a cavalier decision. Uh, he also said that if uh, the, the West wanted to buy Russian energy, then Russia would be willing to sell it. All they had to do, he says, was just to say yes. No mention of the war in Ukraine in all of this, uh, or any kind of reference to uh, Russia's decision to launch the special military operation, which is being seen by the West basically as a land grab. Now, he also said that Russia would be interested uh, in supplying the European Union via the Nord Stream 2 pipeline, saying that uh, the attacks that have been uh, taking place there, uh, as described as sabotage, are nothing to do with Russia, uh, saying that uh, gas could still be supplied through those pipelines if the West wanted it to be. Also, that Russia was willing to redirect gas supplies to the Black Sea and set up a gas hub in Turkey, which could also supply the European Union. So lots of proposals by Vladimir Putin coupled with threats saying that, in any case, Russia was not going to suffer as a result of the sanctions that were being imposed on it because it was going to seek other customers without making, without naming it, uh, referring to uh, China, that it would be selling its uh, uh, energy supplies to them uh, if Europe uh, and the West didn't want them. He also talked about that decision by the OPEC Plus Alliance, didn't he, a bit earlier on this week, Philip. Um, they've decided to slash oil supplies. Um bad news for the United States primarily. Um, what did Putin have to say about that? Well, I think there's a feeling in the United States that maybe the decision by OPEC, which uh, includes Russia and it also includes the US ally, Saudi Arabia, uh, could have been made in a bid to destabilise the Biden administration in the United States, notably to cut by two million barrels a day uh, the production of oil, which obviously means that prices will go up because there'll be less oil available for the international market. This is going to be a boost for Russia because that means that Russia will see prices for oil go up. Therefore, it will be able to increase its income by selling oil, and that will increase the money available to fund the war in Ukraine. So what the Biden administration has been calling for is an increase in oil production to undermine the rise in prices and give Russia less money. So this is a serious blow, I think, to the uh, administration in the United States. And I think a question is being asked about what role Saudi Arabia is playing in all of this. Now, it's not all good news for Vladimir Putin because the sanctions mean that many spare parts that are needed for Russia are not getting into the country, uh, notably for a car production. Uh, that has been hit by, by sanctions. And there is a looming uh, European embargo on Russian oil, which is due to start on uh, December the 5th, and a ban on refined products from next March. And Vladimir Putin also referred to that in his speech a, a while ago, uh, condemning that and saying this was another move which was basically going to affect European people, their ability to pay their bills, their ability to, sh to heat their homes, uh, and that energy supplies should not be dragged into the political debate. Philip Tell, thanks very much indeed.